Hello, adventure enthusiast! Here are some vintage trading videos EBO produced in the late 1990s. These videos actually helped get us blacklisted from a leading trade association. After all, training was reserved for only certain approved vendors, right? Ha ha ha! Fast forward to present day where the coronavirus has shut down our industry. Every vendor seems to be clamoring for a virtual presence and is creating training content in this new era of online learning. So we thought it about time to blow off the digital dust and make these videos available once again. Enjoy! Okay, here are the six samples of cable we're gonna pull, test, and break. Here at the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and use two U-clips with uh, plenty of turn back on a thimble. And this sample will torque down to 25 pounds of torque, or foot pounds. This other identical sample will torque to 45 pounds. The third and fourth cable will be a copper ferrule with three crimps on it. And the fourth one will be two copper ferrules in tandem, each one with three crimps, and a quarter inch from the tail of the cable to the edge of the crimp. Not the end of the ferrule, but to the edge of the crimp to the cable is a quarter inch. The fifth and sixth cable we'll go with will be with fist grips. Again, this sample will tighten down to 25 foot-pounds, and that sample will tighten down to 45 foot-pounds. And on all the samples, the other end, which will be static, which we're not testing, are all secured with double copper ferrules, swedged three times, or crimped three times in each ferrule, with a thimble in the end. The swedger that we've used is the HIT 3 8 inch hand or manual swedging tool and we've also got our torque wrench to make sure that when we get it on the pull press and we get the cable tight we'll do the final torque down to make sure we get that accurately some folks want to know if I don't get the torque just right what happens well here's two U-clips under torqued to only 25 foot pounds Let's see what happens. 14,000! Here goes the break test of two U clips on 3 8 inch wire rope, properly torqued to 45 foot-pounds of torque. And there's the torque wrench on the right side of the screen for you. Always follow the recommendations of the manufacturer. And what happens with a single copper ferrule with three crimps?
The cable didn't break, it slipped through the ferrule. Now comparing a fist grip to a U-clip, let's look at two fist grips under torque to only 25 foot-pounds of torque. 4,000! Now, two properly torqued fist grips. Always follow the manufacturer's recommendations for installation. overhand knot because we want to see the comparison of the braking strength between the two knots on the same static rope. Again, it's 11 millimeter KM3 static line. And then our final knot test will be conducted on another section of 11 millimeter KM3 static rope. But this time, the eight knot is dressed so the working load is going to go around the tight or the shortest radial bend of the, of the knot. And I want to see what that compares to against this figure eight where it's dressed correctly. And then the final two pull tests we're going to do will be on dynamic rope. 11 millimeter by Sterling. But we want to do a pull test. The pull test between a rapid length, simulating the top point of attachment for a belay with a 12 millimeter thickness or width here with the radial bend versus a shear reduction block. This is the Stargate by Robertson on a rapid length just to hold the pull, but we want to take the rope and pull it straight down, representing complete 180 degree bend on each surface, and compare the two breaking points. Both ends will be secured with a properly dressed figure eight on a bite, with a double overhand backup knot, to the same pull point, and the same will go on just a single rapid length. Two figure eight stress, double way and backup knots, and a rapid length for a common pull point. And that'll be the product that we'll be brake testing. And this is what it looks like in its new um, state prior to brakes. 
We're gonna pull test 11 millimeter static cam three figure eight and a bite with the knot dressed so the working end is in the widest part of the knot or has the widest radial bend possible. 11 mil, static cam three, test in progress. 500. Millimeter KM3 static with bullet on bite knot to both ends. Test in progress. Static KM3 11 mil, figure in a bite with the radial bend over the shortest or narrowest part of the knot. Test, test in progress. 1,000! Okay, here okay, this is going to be a uh, pole test over a 12 millimeter diameter rapid link uh, with two figure eight bites on the end of the termination rope. No backup knots. Um, we want to be able to see what the figure eight does throughout the taping. And test in progress. This is a Sterling Dynamic Rope, 11 millimeter, being inline pole tested over a four inch of Stargate. Go. Test in progress. 500.
Jesus.